So whoever's watching, lucky you. No, really, seriously, I'm not nobody important. Ooh, I'm just gonna talk about how I got started in makeup. Um, anyway, so um, I started doing makeup a few years ago, um, just dibble dabbling. It was something silly. I thought um, at this point now I like it. I enjoy it. It's fun. It's it's a way to express myself. It's a stress reliever for me. Sometimes it's stressful if I'm trying to put too much pressure on it on what look I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna be creative, you know, if I wanna be original, I wanna be, um, I wanna stand out, I want to, uh, you know, everybody wants to um, show their own artistry. You know, I always want to do a, oh, I'm gonna recreate this look video. So, you know, that's why I try to, you know, dip one down. If I do recreate a look, I try to give it my own spin on it. But, <clears throat> Wow, that was sexy. Um, get into you know the artistry of doing makeup and um, you know there's so many talented people that whose YouTube videos I watch and I, this is my first time you know going on. I have an Instagram. I um, you know, um like you know Jeffrey Star, um, Patrick Star, two people who I watch on a daily basis. Uh, Manny MUA, somebody I also watch. Um, some of these people who have you know um. Brett Man also have a product. Um, people who I watch on a daily basis who are men in makeup and men in the beauty influencer industry, it kind of kind of give you the confidence to be like, okay, well I can do this too, you know, or I can do it and I can have fun with, it. you know, finding something that gives you confidence and if that's what you need, or give you a relaxation if that's what you need, or gives you. Um, an ability to show your artistry if that's what you need. Yeah, of course there are products that are better for certain skin types and others. There are better products for certain, you know, uh, skin, um, you know, darker skin, lighter skins, or, you know, people who have oily or dry skin. That's something else I learned with Mary Kay as well because they give you the tools once you become a consultant, you know, to, dif you know, differentiate between what is um, the dry skin, what is combination of oil is on and so forth is that, but you know, that is kind of where watching those videos, watching those people on YouTube and Instagram and all the other influencers that are out there, the unnamed influencers, you know, watching them do it and, and have a good time with it. And, you know, of course, you know, be successful at it also gives you a confidence and gave me a confidence to kind of step into it. Into the <laughs> so, you know, um, she told me to get into it, see whether you like it, see if it's something you're into. Um, and I actually like it, you know, it's fun. You know, the, the Mary Kay parties are actually something really fun. It's really and truly you just getting around with a friend and a couple other friends or their friends and introducing them to a product. It's all about skincare for one. I've always said that and I always will continue to say Take care of your skin first. Take care of your skin first, and the makeup will do the rest. That's just it in a nutshell. It's, I can't just leave this product on my face, and it gets in my pores, and it causes acne, and so on, or it increases people's acne. Somebody's, you know, somebody who has acne, they might increase their levels of acne or make it worse for them. But you just have to take care of your skin. Like that is it. Like start starting with that. Like I did a video a while back of like on Instagram of people telling people to wash their face. Wash your face. Wash your face. Anyway. But yeah, I am a Mary Kay beauty consultant and I have been doing it for about a year and a half now. Dang. Like I'm wearing makeup, like my foundation is Mary Kay. My primer is Mary Kay. Um, my mascara is Mary Kay. And most of the products I only use, I only use my Mary Kay brushes on my face. Those are the only brushes I use. I really and truly don't use a lot of other brushes. Um, I may use a few other brushes, but for the most part, I've gotten a collection of a couple sets that have come in, you know, some old sets, new sets that have come out, and I absolutely love these brushes. It, it, I don't even know what else to say. I mean, honestly, I feel like my, I feel like my beat is kind of cute. Got my little highlighter going on, which is also by Mary Kay. It's a Mary Kay highlighter. In the shade, I can tell you, but I don't remember. In the shade Glaze Soft, it is everything to me. Um, you know, they have 
uh, numbers of hers are amazing. The lipstick, I'm actually wearing Mary Kay lipstick today in the shade Red Smolder. This is what I'm wearing today. Mary Kay come through with the red. Let me just, let me just, mm, and, uh, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. I dropped it. Okay. I'm so devastated that I just dropped it. I didn't break it, but I dropped it. And I hope it's not on the carpet, because if not, my boyfriend's gonna kill me. Okay, anyway. Um, but that's just what I have gotten into. Um, I love their skin products. I love, I feel love, 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 love. If I had to recommend anything from Mary Kay, I recommend skin products. They skincare products. Ain't nothing else I can say. It's just, you know, wash your face with Mary Kay. That should be a slogan. Wash your face with Mary Kay. I mean, that's just me. Like, that's just me in a nutshell. Like, if I can put out anything in the world, it is do you to the best of your ability. Um, be the best person that you possibly can be. Don't be anybody else. Um, don't try to be anybody else. Don't try to follow the example of anybody else. Because if following somebody else will get you in trouble every single time. Because if you try to follow the example of other people... Um, you'll get lost on your own journey. And, you know, I have caught myself as well trying to follow other people's example of what success and what um, makeup beauty is or what anything is. And it just does not work. What they have is for them. I'm a believer. I'm a strong, strong believer in, you know, in, in the word. And so with that being said, like, what is what is for them is for them. What is for you is for you. And that's it in a nutshell. Like that is it. You work hard, and your and your blessing and your break will come. You know it will come. It, you know you take your time. You figure out what you need to do for you. You get yourself together. You make sure you are in the right mindset when you walk out of your door every single day. And what is for you will come. Like that's it. You know do I do I feel like I would have been? Um, do I feel like you know a year ago would I be where I am right now? No. Am I still where I want to be? Absolutely not. Who, you know, who, if you are okay, if you're just like content with where you are, then you need to reevaluate yourself because you can always be making yourself better. I'm not That's saying it. that you can always improve on yourself. You can improve on your education, your health, your, your financial standing. You can improve on um, your skincare, your <laughs> makeup skills. You can improve on your cleanliness. You can, there's always something that you can improve on. There's nobody out here that's perfect. And there's always something that you can say, I can do better at that. And if I am going to do better at that, then damn it, I'm going to get it. Like, that's it in a nutshell. But a part of this video I want to do is I want to show you guys some of the products that, like I said, I use personally. Product that I use um, that is available on my website. It will be in the description. Okay? Check it out. Um, Is the... Look at that. Look, look, let, me, let me get y'all a look at that. Let me see. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. Um, <laughs> I had a client that I actually sold this to, and she was like, well, how do you describe this? And I was like, okay, just between me and you, I described this as the Bad Bitch Mascara. Like, because this is a real mascara. Like, this is a real mascara. Um, but I also use today, and I have been using forever and always my Mary Kay translucent powder it's really simple um, I actually like it it does go on I use it to do my nose contour I use it to do won't get back that close to the camera no more um <laughs> I won't I you know um to do my bottom lashes which I didn't do before I did this video before I take any pictures to go on Instagram I will do I will definitely be changing and doing my bottom lashes with the Ultimate Mascara for Mary Kay. Also a very big brush. Uh, you know, for you, those of you who can't, who can't like, um, who can't, look, shake your hands, be careful, because it, it will, might get yourself, because it, it is a big brush, it's a big um, spindle on there. I love that one. Another lipstick that I use for Mary Kay, and I've used some of my Instagram pictures, and you, if you check my page out, you can see it on there. I am... You can check me out at J the Consultant on Instagram um, and Snapchat, I believe. I, I'll double check that out. I'll put the description in the below if you want to check, check it out, please. Oh, thank you. Um, 
But this is the Bash For You. It's like a new lipstick. Oh, and you get a pretty good, and I've used it, so you get a pretty good amount of product. It's just so wonderful. It, this is the Red Roma lipstick. It's one of our newer lipsticks. And like, lip, red be lip be popping. And I've been using a lot of reds lately just with the looks. I did a recent look. Um, I did a recreation of the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. I had fun with that look. I use all my Mary Kay brushes. This is my Mary Kay liquid foundation brush. Um, one of my die hard items that I use from Mary Kay to get all this paint off my face, off my eyes and my lips, is the Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Maker Remover. This here, right here, I use other products other than Mary Kay. Like, um, I use, I've used the James Charles palette. I've used the um, eyeshadow palette from the crayon case. So I use other palettes other than what I use for my Mary Kay palette. Um, eyeshadow palettes. This works on everything. And no matter what it is, if you want it off, it's coming off in the name of the God. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> what the ladies call the Mary Kay foundation primer and sunscreen, might I add. It's a sunscreen the SPF 5 bar. Mary Kay is really big on um, sunscreens. They're really big on sunscreens. A lot of their products, their skincare products have sun, sunscreen in them. Sunscreen, there we go. Spit it out. Um, the ladies call this the pothole filler because it fills the holes in your face. Like I'm, you know, I'm looking okay right now. I'm looking kind of like, oh, like does he have pores a little bit? If I got a little closer, you could see, but I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna be zooming in on stuff. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be doing Okay, thank you. Daily basis, if I'm doing uh, makeup especially, I just use my, um, my Mary Kay products because it's nice to have all the products that you need from one place. Today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my Continuous Southern Mist by Morphine, Make It Last by Milani. Those are some of the products I use. Um, I have a lot of people ask me what I do on my brows. That is a secret to me. Um, and then also I top it off with a little bit of my brow tint from Mary Kay. I'm a Mary, I, Mary Kay consultant, so I use a lot of Mary Kay products. It is what it is. Um, but, and then, of course, I use my Mary Kay brow gel to keep these brows sitting where they at. Concealers. So. <laughs> I also use the Perfecting Concealer from Mary Kay. Um, I use two different kinds. I have a bronze one that I use, and I also have this light bronze that I use. It's like a something you know there are two different kinds that i use and this is a trick i learned from patrick star patrick star i love you if you ever see this i love you and you're everything you this oh hallelujah this gave me life i appreciate you telling me about this here because this right here I, i'm gonna get to it i'm tired of people asking me a makeup tutorial i feel like personally my makeup tutorial is going to be five hours long because I stop. I go make me some chicken, drink me some Kool-Aid or something, or go to the store with half my face. Then I will go over to the corner market. Now, I don't live in a project, so don't try to read me for that. But we do have a little market that's next door because we live like in a little downtown area or whatever, closer to down. It's like a central Phoenix area. But um, there's a little, little corner store that I'll be going to to get me some snacks, you know what I'm saying? Give me something to snack on. And from time to time, I will stop what I'm damn doing on this face to go get my snacks. And it just is what it is. So. I think that's all I got to say to y'all. And I really appreciate anybody who's out here listening. And I'll be making more videos and I'll be going more in depth about me and um, my overall journey. I'll get better at this, I promise. You know, I'll figure this out and um, and I am excited. I'm excited to start this part of my journey. It's gonna, I don't know if anything I said in this video makes any sense either, but we are gonna be real together. We are gonna stay real together. And we are gonna get real together. All right. Love you. Appreciate you. Bye.